Do a got a minute on how math coincides with how we calculate the wind using but else but a, an anemometer. Here's an anemometer right here. Look at this thing. Obviously, it's, it works better outside than inside, but that's how we measure wind speed. We use what's called a cup anemometer, and that's what it looks like right there. There's how you spell it. It's not anemometer, it's anemometer. Here's what's going on here. You get a wind speed that, that picks up, a wind gusts up there, and it gets caught up in that cup of the anemometer, acts like a kite, and then that thing spins around in circles. So how does this tie into math day? There's always a way to bring math into the conversation. We actually use math to calculate how fast that wind is spinning the anemometer. So all you need is a, a tape measure or you just know the circumference around the circle of that anemometer. You take C, for example. Guys, I know we're back from spring break, but a little math lesson for you here this morning. You take the number of rotations in a minute and you multiply that by the circumference of that anemometer. So that would give us inches per minute. It's a simple conversion to miles per hour. And that's how we're able to tell you what the wind speed is based on how many times that little anemometer is spinning around. Of course, Jabari brought up a, a good point of like, you're not doing that calculation every, every, every hour, day. See, right? I, mean, I thought so. Computers like, do that, right? Yes, but, but, but math, ultimately, <laughs> somebody had to put that calculation into the computer <laughs> to calculate wind speed, Jabari. That's good to know. Yeah.